Hi, in today's tutorial, we'll look at how we can change the look and feel of Control UI to add icons, change the background, and also to change the button color. So, from the quick start template, we can move to the web GUI icon on the My Projects instances. We we'll double click on that, and we'll be greeted with this window at the bottom here. Modules, applets, windows. So we double click on windows, we open up this tool, the GUI Builder 1 and A configuration. So in order for the project to work properly, it has to have these two pages already there. Now if we double click on the A configuration page, this is where we can change the icons and the pictures. So if you notice that there's a number, an index number on each of the icons beside it. So this index number corresponds to the icon. So for example, picture icon 1, if I try to change this projector to something else, say maybe try to change it to a toilet. See? Okay, it will change to a toilet icon and if I want to revert back to the original default I just click on this exclamation mark beside the uh, icon it should go back to yes it should go back to the projector icon so already preloaded is a number of uh, icons to 43 icons and after that, there are actually much more empty spaces below, up to 100. So you can add your own customized icons to be used. Now to use this icon in a control GUI, uh, we need to go back to our configuration. And say for example, you want to change the icon of a projector. So we can see if you click on the projector here, and we look at the properties pane, there is a icon number. Now this number actually corresponds to the A configuration. You can see 1 corresponds to icon 1. So if we change the number based on the number here, it will change the icon. So if we go to the properties pane in A configuration, and we scroll all the way down, you see that there is another part here that is now this appearance changes the picture of the configuration and also of the project. Landscape picture refers to the picture when the device is in landscape and also in portrait mode you can change different pictures. The background color can also be changed. For example, if I want it to be blue, I can change it to blue. And the window color for pop up windows and the message box background color. Further down, we have button group colors button A, B, C, D, yes and no, the up and down buttons, the colors for up and down, for example, when the state is up and when the state is down. You can also change the colors here. Now, to test uh, without actually running a debug mode. What you can do is going to My Project Resources, you click on the Graphic Collections uh, folder, and you have My GUI or what Control G Graphic Collection, and you can just pull in the window to test. And as a demo, I would like to show you how this is done. So, for example, I want to change the Background and the buttons, and I can actually go to a configuration on web UI window, and then by choosing a configuration, if I change group button A to red, and maybe I have to change. 
button B to reload then C to think and D to read so let's see how this can be changed So once I'm done with the changes, okay, it doesn't seem like it's changing here. Let's try it in debug mode. Reboot this and start the simulation. So it's completed. We'll go through the usual process. Bring in the localhost 8080 to do our testing. And uh, if you remember, we changed some of the button colors. Yep. So the background has been changed to blue. And uh, change the TV to the different icons as you can see here the icon colors are changed so this refers to group button A the red one yellow refers to button group B and uh, button group C is the one on top here this section and button group D is the channel up top so again, there are other places where you can customize the color like button group T refers to the transport icons, the play, stop, pause icons in the source page. And also your menu. Menu refers to the buttons along here. And you can actually change the up and down colors. Now, to change the background picture, maybe you can just add one. Say I create a new picture and I try to add a picture here. Say like this. And for landscape mode, it's the picture of a portrait that's no picture. So we we'll stop and we we'll try to debug again. You can see how the picture looks. Once it's done, we do a refresh. Downloading updates. And you can see the background picture has changed to something else. So from here, we can also make the button opacity lower by changing the Button opacity For example the opacity here and change to a lower setting as well. So this is just a simple way we can customize further our control UI to give it a personal touch. So this concludes the video. Uh, thank you for watching and please uh, like and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.